Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're in Kakariko Village. There's a couple of things that I would like to do here. See where I am on the map? That's how you get on top of this roof. And now what you want to do is try and get onto that roof over there. If you can, this may take a little finesse with your normal hook shot. Ooh and up here, oh, look at that. It's a skull to law. Better pick that up, ba baby. <laughs> you need it. Back at the graveyard, you'll see that this plant has flourished nicely, and now you'll be able to get up here, which will let you get this heart piece. Apparently, you can get this with the long shot by standing on top of a gravestone, but anyway, there's a nice heart piece for you. And what I think I'm gonna do is do this. Remember uh, Dompe's grave over here? Well, I'm going to attempt to do this right now without the long shot. Even though it's not a good idea, it is possible to get under a minute in time and get the heart piece from this grave. So, yeah, let's do our best here. Basically, the only way you're going to stand the chance is if you roll the whole way and roll fairly precisely at that as well. And you also got to look out for the fire. Uh, hopefully this won't take too many tries to do it, and... Wait, which way did he... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I always forget the pathway, and then it screws me over. <laughs> wait, wait, did he go... Yeah, he went this way, okay. Good, good. I know he's going this way, so I can just sc scoot around the corner. Oh, boy, that's not gonna be good for my time. I hope I can make it. I hope I can make it. You can't beat him in the race, but you can get under a minute in time. And he goes up here. Ugh. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. I can do this. I can do this. Go, Link. Go. Cut the corners. No. 56, 57. Success. I can't believe I got that on my first try. I should have just did that earlier in the walkthrough while I was here. But yeah, baby. That was sweet. Now wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering where the heck uh, it was going to be. I forgot where he drops it. I thought I actually thought it was going to be in another treasure chest over here. But whatever, you got another heart piece. Now let's go over to Death Mountain Trail. Shortcuts! Woohoo! And over here... See this rock? Oh yeah, you can hear it. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't get that earlier because I just didn't have the hammer. That's why I didn't even come and show this off earlier. But this is basically over by where I threw that bomb flower over to break the rock over at, to the Dongo's Cavern as a kid. Anyway, to the top of Death Mountain now. Well, I shouldn't say it's to the top of Death Mountain. It's actually one of these things over here. One of these things conceals a skulltula. Ah, there it is. Woohoo! The plant has grown! The plant has grown! Major shortcuts for the win! <laughs> yeah, you can go all the way through here. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, no, 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 I would like to jump off here, actually. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna bother getting the skulltulas over here just yet because well, I simply can't at this point in the time because I need another item to be able to get in, get the Skulltula and yeah, so I'm just going to skip the area for now and go straight over to Zora's Domain. You're going to see something pretty interesting, I think, when we go inside. Otherwise, uh, Zora's River here is virtually unchanged, so you pretty much know how to get through here, even without the plant. Uh-oh. It's snowing. It's icy. Well, looks like the Zoras have been turned into fish circles. Well, nothing we can do here. Now, I'd actually like to show you something down here first. See this red ice over here? This red ice, you can't do anything about until you, <clears throat> excuse me, until you get some blue fire. I'll be getting two bottles full of that stuff because I'll need it for when I come back through here. Um, but 
the first thing that you want to go do is see Frozen King Zor over here. <laughs> and I don't know why I find that amusing, but I just do. Maybe because I just said fishicle. But anyway, you want to go here, I think. I'm pretty sure there is a... Or I thought there was a Skulltula. Is it because I'm here during the daytime or something? Well, let's see here. Nighttime, and you can hear that familiar scratchy scratch scratch sound. Hopefully I can see it. Ah, there you go, that's what I thought. So you do have to be here at nighttime for you to get this Skulltula. Okie dokie. Now let's go over to Zora's Fountain. Uh, you're gonna notice that that place is also quite a bit different this time around, so no cutting ahead because it's gonna be a whole different world. By the way, the ice, needless to say, slippery, so be careful about that. Uh, you can Z-target our frozen fish friend there if you'd like to, but you can't seem to examine it for whatever reason. I I'd actually like to hear what Navi has to say about that, honestly. Um, I'm looking for a heart piece. I believe you have to glacier hop, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we gotta start hopping from here, and once you fall into the water, you have to pretty much start this from the very beginning again. And since, ah, there it is, and since these things are topsy-turvy, it can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of jumping from one of these to another. Or at least I think you can't climb on top of, um... Like, I don't think you can climb out of these from the water. If I recall correctly... Oh! That's why. Well, let's see if I can... Yeah, see, for some reason you can't... Eh, eh, eh. Well, maybe you can trick this out? Ow. <laughs> okay, I'll just do this the long way. Fine, fine. Going back around. Um, once I go through the ice cavern and get some fire as well as the upcoming iron boots, yeah, slight spoilers there, I'll be able to get the heart piece at the very bottom of this lake as well, so that'll be pretty nice. Um, I believe there is a Skulltula that I can get in this area now using, um, or maybe I can't, maybe, I'm just trying to think here. How did that happen? I, I rolled off the edge and that should make me propel my jump for oh, my jump forward and uh oh. Yeah, I think I can get two things here right now and then I'll get some other stuff on my way back. Anyway, I'm gonna cut back over to that heart piece. <laughs> Careful. Careful, okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, yeah, there we go. Success. And now remember where the great fairy was over here? And despite this uh, area being extremely frigid, for some reason you don't take damage or die when you're in water. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, there's this rock here. Now I can either, I believe I can pick it up or I can... Can I grab it, or do I have to... Oh, maybe I can't get this now until I get a thing later. Okay. Or at least I don't think. There's something around the perimeter that leads you to... See that? See that little uh, cutout area in the mountain there? It leads you to over there. And... The place is very well hidden. Underneath a rock, there's a hole that you jump down, and then you follow a path through some invisible enemies. I believe they're all Skulltulas. Climb up to the top and you'll get yourself a gold Skulltula. Well, anyway, now I'm going to go around once again. <laughs> oh, I can just, like, walk myself up here. Well, that's pretty handy, I suppose, unless this is slippery. No, apparently it isn't. For some reason, I slide down dirt, but I don't slide down ice. It doesn't really make much sense, but you can't question the game logic, otherwise the universe will implode. So I don't recommend that you do that. Now, you'll notice that when you're on these iceberg thingies, they're all topsy-turvy, depending on your weight, or I should say where you are uh, in rela ooh, relation to the edge of them. And So you've got to kind of kind of manipulate them as they're bobbing up and down out of the water. Am I going in the... No, that's the way towards the heart piece. I want to go this way. 
Uh, no, no. What? Oh. Uh, huh? Well, maybe it's only when you're in the water that fails. I don't know. <laughs> well, these are spinning for whatever reason. And wait, wait, I'm just okay. I get myself like aimed there. Good. Whenever you want to aim yourself precisely, go into first person uh, mode and you'll be able to see it. And now we are in the ice cavern, which I'm going to start doing in the next part. This is uh oh, the next dungeon in the ah, the next dungeon in the game. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. I'm gonna pause so I don't get myself killed. <laughs>